one specially for the hero. Yeah. Cause she gets what the she wants, yeah. Cause she's different from the mother. And she opens up her closet. Is it filled up with designer clothes? If you want to discover fashion, to hear it, she the girl can make it happen, yeah. First in the hero, shake it like Shakira. How could I say this any clearer? She sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Discover Fashion and Entertainment, our final episode for the season. So let me take this time to thank all of you who have been viewing from day one up to this point. We really appreciate you and we'll be back very soon in March for our second season. It's going to be more excitement and more fun. Alright, but today I am in the parish of St. David's and I'm here to chat with one of our creative minds. Rocks and guys, stick around. When we get back, she'll be here with me. Chat.
unique photography, your memories are just as special to us as they are to you. Trust our professionals to help you capture your special moments while guiding you in the best way to do so at an affordable price. Unique Photography is your one-stop shop for all your photography needs, including real estate photography, weddings, portraits, private shoots, drone photography, and videography. We also offer a range of products that can personalize the way you cherish and display your memories, including key rings, photo dog tags, ceramic tiles, t-shirt printing, clocks, canvases, plaques, and mugs. Call us today on 420-9379 or email us at uniquephotography2014 at gmail.com. Unique Photography, where passion meets professionalism. If you want to discover fashion, Tahira, she's a girl, can make it happen, yeah. First name Tahira, shake it like Shakira. How could I say this any clearer? She's pretty, pretty, pretty. My say it, buddy. Welcome back guys. So today I am chatting with one of our creative minds in our beautiful parish of St. David's, Miss Sydney. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And how are you? I'm doing great. Happy Independence. Same Day. to you. Thank you. Welcome to Discover Fashion and Entertainment. Thank you. Happy to have you. Nice to be here. Great. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well my name first of all is Cindy Rebecca Roxana Philip, also known as Rockin' Roxanne. I am in the 30s. <laughs> um, I live in Corinth, St. David's, where I also work. And uh, I attended uh, Boca Secondary School, and then T.A. Marshall C Community College right after. I um, worked at different places, um, gaining experiences, but nothing in this field. Mm -hmm. I decided to branch off into this field after working for the man. <laughs> And not enjoying <laughs> but right. yes that's basically my life um, things that I enjoy is very limited because I am a workaholic but I do sometimes read and uh, uh, enjoy my family spending time with my family is one of the most important things to me nice basically so how did you end up in the fashion industry as a fashion designer yeah uh, is a calling it was a calling from ever since it dragged me into it itself so i ended up there by it calling me basically <laughs> now, since i was a child i remember i always wanted to do things to make things look different right. my dollies look different me look different so mm -hmm. yeah did you have any family member that was into the fashion industry or not sewing? particularly into fashion but sewing yes so you're the first fashion designer in your family? I would family. love to say that. Ah, nice. Yes. What is fashion for you? Uh, fashion for me is individuality. It's one person taking what everybody else has and make it their own. Make it to their liking, to mm -hmm. suit them so that they, they can stand out so everybody else can see them. <laughs> nice. What is your first fashion memory? Oh, my first fashion memory, as I was telling you about me being a child and sewing for my dolly and making that short pleated skirt <laughs> for my dolly and calling it fashion. I remember at fi age five, I mm -hmm. had that mind that it was high end fashion. So, yeah, that's my first fashion memory. So, like, you used to look at like TV shows, fashion designing shows, yeah. to, so you um, basically self taught about the designing stuff? Uh, I wouldn't say that I used to look at shows because at, at that age, what do you know about right. these shows? And then we were in the, the small island of Grenada. Mm -hmm. So we had a limited resources to see fashion on a big, big screen. Right. Um, so basically it came from within me. I don't know if you understand. It came right, from yeah. the mm -hmm. urge of wanting that thing and that look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where it came from. What do you love about being a designer? My greatest joy about being a designer is my clients' happiness. Um, seeing the smiles on their faces, the way the clothes make them feel, and the joy that it brings to them. That's basically it. Nice. What are the work ethics that you believe in while working with fashion? Whew. Pleasing your customers, your clients, and also rest. Rest is one of the most 
important things for a fashion designer to have because you have the design blockage if you mm -hmm. don't dress. Nothing comes to mind, or it comes to mind, it does not come out right when you try it. Yeah, that's one of the ethics. Right? You're still a workaholic, as you say. Yeah. Do you get enough? Yeah, right? and I do not. <laughs> I do not. I recently started uh, trying to rest mm -hmm. on weekends, but um, um, it's going. <laughs> it's going. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from or who inspires you? Oh, um, a number of areas I get inspiration from, but I look to two of uh, kind of popular places um, Instagram <laughs> yeah. and Pinterest yeah um. yeah that's you can just go there for hours and just look through the pe different people's styles and how they put it together and get inspired mm -hmm. by it yes and that's how you keep up with the latest fashion trends as definitely. well definitely definitely oh. social media is definitely one of the biggest inspiration on keeping up with trends and stuff like that nice mm -hmm. as your role as a fashion designer mm -hmm. what do you think your role is at, in society oh um well as the be at the beginning of this conversation remember i said um making people feel like an individual um keeping it that way keeping people feeling like themselves instead of following everybody else wearing mm -hmm. the same thing everybody else has you're just standing out. That's my role as a fashion designer is to keep people feeling themselves. And how will you define your personal style? <laughs> um, bubbly as me. <laughs> <laughs> just as I am very bubbly. And um, uh, I don't know <laughs> how to explain my style. Um, attention grabbing. Mm. Definitely attention grabbing. Nice. Yeah. So you're not only design, but you also sew your own stuff as yes. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So who taught you to sew it? Self taught as well. Self taught. Ah. It's in the jeans. <laughs> I see. Yeah. What do you think is the most challenging aspect as a seamstress? Oh, the challenging aspect as a seamstress is getting it wrong. Sometimes you try a style, a new style. Um, I'm a person who sees stuff and tried out i not a person that makes patterns or mm -hmm. um i free cut straightforward i put the cloth on the table and i visualize exactly how it's supposed to be and mm -hmm. i cut it out and the greatest the greatest risk i could take is that and yeah so what happens if a client let's say has to collect a garment mm -hmm. tomorrow and mistakenly cut that piece wrong <laughs> What will you do? <laughs> I have no idea, and I pray to God that never happens. That it never <laughs> happened, it never to, happened to me. Never happened to me before. Oh. If I do make an error, it's fixable. So, okay. yeah, never had the situation where I had to um, rebuy the fabric or mm -hmm. find a way to find an excuse to give them. That never happened to me. So You're always let's, on point. Well, I wouldn't say I'm always on point, but I tr do try. <laughs> I do try. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What else are you specialized in? Um, well, other than sewing garments and designing, um, I do bags um, mm -hmm. on occasion, which is one of my biggest joys. Um, hats, um, even shoes, um, jewelry, makeup. Mm. And uh, so you're in that's the whole secret. fashion yes. industry. How did you start off the idea with the bags? Um, <laughs> back to school days. Mm. I saw a bag, and I wanted it, and because I could not have afforded it because I was in school, and I wouldn't ask my parents for it because I'm independent like that. I decided that I wanted to try to make it, so I did try, and it came out fairly good as a school child mm -hmm. and I continue just being a creative kind of person from ever since then yeah nice yeah. now we in the independent season mm -hmm. what do you have in store coming up well um every year for independence I usually do make bags as as usual and mm -hmm. last year I made a mask with the Grenada flag on it and I'm also doing that this year and there's a possibility that I will do bucket hats as well and sell the bags that I had left over from last year. 
So guys, we are about to take a short break and when we get back, it's going to be Would You Rather segment. Stick around. Unique photography, your memories are just as special to us as they are to you. Trust our professionals to help you capture your special moments while guiding you in the best way to do so at an affordable price. Unique Photography is your one-stop shop for all your photography needs, including real estate photography, weddings, portraits, private shoots, drone photography, and videography. We also offer a range of products that can personalize the way you cherish and display your memories, including key rings, photo dog tags, ceramic tiles, t-shirt printing, clocks, canvases, plaques, and mugs. Call us today on 420-9379 or email us at uniquephotography2014 at gmail.com. Unique Photography, where passion meets professionalism. Opens up her closet, is this filled up with designer clothes? If you want to discover fashion, to hear a shooter girl can make it happen, yeah. First thing to hear her, shake it like Shakira. How could I say this any clearer? She's sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Welcome back, guys, to our Would You Rather segment. So, Sydney, I have a few questions here, and all you have to do is to choose which one would you rather. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Hmm. Rewind. Rewind. There's Definitely some things rewind. you want to fix. Yeah. Uh -huh. With knowledge that I have now, yeah. I could rewind it and mm -hmm. make things better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be able to talk with the animals or speak all foreign languages? Oh, the animals. Definitely yes. the animals. <laughs> oh. They're definitely the animals. They have something to say. Yeah, yeah, I believe so too. Would you rather dress in neon yellow or neon pink for the rest of your life? Yellow. Would you rather find your dream partner or your dream job? I already have my dream job, so my dream partner. Would you rather be homeless or be in prison? Definitely homeless. Why? I don't like to be bound. Mm, just want to go anywhere. Not confide in a small space. Sleep anywhere? That's right. <laughs> okay. No owner. <laughs> Pizza or pasta? Pizza, definitely. Music or movies? Music, definitely. Cat or dogs? Dogs, definitely. Library or museum? Hmm, that's a hard one. They give off the same feel to me. Mm. <sighs> can I pass them on that? No. I have to answer that. Um, museum. Museum. Book yeah. or plane? Plane. Books or magazines? Uh, books. Okay, last question. Online shopping or in-person shopping? Oh, definitely online shopping. Yeah? Yeah. You trust shopping online? Yes. Your clothes always fit? Because if it doesn't fit, I can fix it. Oh, right, right. That's right. Exactly. You're a designer and <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, guys, we have come to the end of our Would You Rather segment. When we get back, we will be going through some of Sydney's creative pieces. So, stick around. Unique photography, your memories are just as special to us as they are to you. 
Trust our professionals to help you capture your special moments while guiding you in the best way to do so at an affordable price. Unique Photography is your one-stop shop for all your photography needs, including real estate photography, weddings, portraits, private shoots, drone photography, and videography. We also offer a range of products that can personalize the way you cherish and display your memories, including key rings, photo dog tags, ceramic tiles, t-shirt printing, clocks, canvases, plaques, and mugs. Call us today on 420-9379 or email us at uniquephotography2014 at gmail.com. Unique Photography, where passion meets professionalism. If you want to discover fashion, Tahira, she's a girl, can make it happen, yeah. First thing to hear her, shake it like Shakira. How could I say this any clearer? She's sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Must say your body fine. Welcome back guys. So we are about to go through some of Steven's creative pieces. I love them. I'm, I'm loving everything already. <laughs> Thank you. Let us go through this bag. Okay. Is this so a fanny pack? It's a leg bag. A leg bag? It's oh. a fanny pack and a leg bag in one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you hook this around your waist. This part goes around your waist. Mm -hmm. Clips and this one goes around oh, your yeah. leg. Ah. Mm -hmm. So when you're jogging on mornings, you can yeah, just you can go shove with your that. phone and everything in there. What is the inspiration behind this piece? Um, last year, sometime last year, that was one of the trending styles and mm. got inspiration from that and went with it. Yeah. yeah. And onto the first thing that attracted me to your designs was mm -hmm. the mask. That's the first thing I saw from yes, you. Yes, I know. And I'm like, wow, I had to get your contact. Mm -hmm. That was last year. Yeah. Tell us, how, how did the idea came about? Well, this idea has been in my mind for quite a long time and uh, I keep putting it off because I didn't get the, the way to do it mm. or the feelings to do it actually right. and uh, it just hit me that as all my ideas do, probably sleeping and I figured out, I figured out how to do it and I tried it and Voila. It's like you since Corona was coming. A lot of people said that. <laughs> a lot of people said that. Wow. You without were, without you any ahead. knowledge of the need the need of mask right uh -huh. now, I you did it way trend. before. Yes. <laughs> I did it way before. And you you have the small ones and the big ones. Yes. Guys, independence is when tomorrow you can still flex out your mask. Yes. Check the D. And the bags. Mm -hmm. You seem to be into African prints as well yes i am actually into african princes it, it gives me this kind of vibe like you know of course my of background course. kind of thing yes yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely nice. into those nice yeah and this bag is also one of the bags that i had from last year it's mm -hmm. a little there's a little tweaking in the one that i had from last year it has the iridescent um, fabric on it but it has the idea of what what you can get right yeah what's available i love it and you also do hats yes um this is a prototype of something that i was trying out uh a fandora hat um not sure too sure if i'm gonna go ahead with it oh so but this is incomplete yeah it's it's incomplete but um i'm trying to get an idea behind how to do it the mechanics and everything nice and yes but it's nice it is i indeed. love it and it actually match it it's does. the same fabric with my it is. outfit it is <laughs> what else do you do um other than sewing bags and probably just try a little shoes here and there yes <laughs> just makeup and my life live try to live my life <laughs> i also work with um my parents they have a, a family-owned print shop mm -hmm. so i work with them as well and let's mention this tool guys mm -hmm. did you know that sydney actually made this i wonder if you guys <laughs> can see this tool i mean who was that? <laughs> should we should we tell them? We can tell what them. Made Definitely out of? can tell them. Show Definitely them. can tell them. So this stool was made out of bottles. Plastic bottles. Isn't that creative? Grenada is blessed with so it much. Is. Well, I should say Sunday, but people are so creative. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely creative. Yes, like and look You're at definitely it. Definitely creative. I love it. God Definitely. bless your creative mind. Thank so you. Really nice. Thank you. So how can the people get in touch with you? Okay, they can find me on Facebook and on Instagram at Rockin' Roxin. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. And any contact information? Yes, they can call me or WhatsApp me on 404-7012. Right, guys, I hope you heard that. Write down that number and be sure to contact Roxanne, Rox Rock and Roxanne for your creative pieces. All right? Boy, young prank, and I'm doing this one specially for the hero. Yeah, cause she gets what the, she wants, yeah, cause she's different from the mother.